what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do like a double full, uh, opening my legs, you know, halfway and then closing them, you know, qu quickly. I, I thought it was called a cork snapoo at first, but then I realized it's not, it's not off of one foot, it's off of two feet, so it's a full, okay. It's a scissor kick double spin. You know, I can see that already, gosh darn it, you know. I don't know if that's correlated with the move that I named that I'm trying to do because of, you know, me butchering terminology all the time, so <laughs> just let me know. So the gym's actually closed today, so I'm headed to the park right now to go work out. You, you got to let it go. You, you got to let it go. Okay, for that one, the cart full, swing through cork. It's been since 2015 since I landed my first one. That's three years, man. Actually, it's like two and a half because I landed it in fall uh, 2015, but oh my goodness. I figured since I landed the B-twist to cork, like, you know, cart full of cork, another one for the second time only. I've done like cart punch full, you know? Cart full, punch full, but never a swing through cork. Only one time, only one time in 2015 but that's the second time I landed that, so I'm super stoked about that. So I'm gonna do a bodyweight beast workout and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do my pull-ups on the soccer net right here. Like a normal pull-up bar, you can like easily grip around it like that. And so this is gonna change it up and be a little different than normal. So that's good because you wanna change it up every once in a while. And um, that's really gonna work grip strength. My forearms might fatigue before my lats and my biceps do, but you know what, that's good because you gotta, you gotta switch it up, gotta keep training. All right, enough blabbering, let's get to it, but you gotta focus. All right, we're doing supersets. So what a superset is, usually it involves opposing muscle groups. So for example, we just did pull-ups and we're immediately going to push-ups. So supersetting pull-ups with push-ups without rest in between um, makes it harder. What I'm really focusing on today is like the squeeze and just the control and really good form, all right? I'm not trying to like explode or anything. More, more of a bodybuilding uh, body weight workout instead of explosive and functional, just to change it up, you know? So on these wide push-ups, I'm keeping my elbows a little bit tucked in to help prevent any shoulder impingement or injury in the shoulder, basically. Really trying to think of it like a cable fly. Like, you know how if you would do a cable fly, you'd kind of pull it in like this? That's kind of what I'm thinking when I'm doing the uh, wide push-ups. Even though my hands aren't moving in, I'm still thinking about squeezing inward and it really targets the chest. So, well, we're super setting that with chair dips. Now, chair dips or bench dips, as they're called in the program, um, you know, it might be kind of easy 
you might be like, what the heck? But just start repping them out and it'll start to burn. If you really just mind muscle connection to the triceps, you'll really target those triceps. Back to the pull-up bar for a final superset. Those underhand pull-ups, man. Ah, uh, dang. My forearms are on fire, and my chest is burning. So I'm like totally spent. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for putting up with me and all my weird videos, and um. Thank you guys so much for your positive feedback. Thank you guys, you know, just like leaving me comments right away when I upload a video. It really means a lot to me. Um, you know, just thank you guys a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. Peace. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next movie. Whoa! Ah!